CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220 1101, Practice PBQs. This video is part of our PBQ video series and is filled with information that will help you tackle some of CompTIA's challenging performance based questions. In this particular video, we will be discussing component selection. In the diverse landscape of computing, selecting the appropriate components for different PC requirements is a critical task that requires careful consideration and expertise. Whether it's selecting components for a custom workstation, catering to multimedia enthusiasts seeking immersive experiences, powering high-performance gaming setups, or outfitting a server to run multiple virtual machines, each device type demands a tailored approach to component selection. In this video, we will consider the various requirements and appropriate components for each of these devices. When assembling a PC tailored to specific requirements, several key components must be carefully considered. The motherboard serves as the foundation of the system, dictating compatibility and providing connectivity for other components. The CPU, or central processing unit, determines the system's processing power and efficiency, influencing overall performance in various tasks. Adequate RAM is essential for multitasking and system responsiveness, with the amount and speed of RAM impacting overall performance. Storage drives, including solid-state drives for fast data access and hard disk drives for large storage capacities, alongside optical drives such as CB, DVB, and Blu-ray drives, affect system boot times, application loading speeds, and enable access to physical media. The video card plays a crucial role in rendering graphics for gaming, multimedia tasks, and design applications, influencing visual quality and performance. Peripherals contribute to the overall user experience with personal preferences and intended use cases guiding selection. External displays provide essential interfaces for visual tasks with factors such as size, resolution, and connectivity impacting usability. Efficient cooling solutions are vital for maintaining optimal operating temperatures and prolonging component lifespan with various options available. A stable and reliable power supply unit is crucial for the smooth operation of the system with factors such as wattage and efficiency influencing overall stability. Considerations such as compatibility, performance requirements, budget constraints, and future upgradability should also guide the selection of each component, ensuring a balanced and well-suited PC build based on the intended use case. Now that we can see the big picture, let's look a bit closer at each component. When considering the motherboard component, several factors play a pivotal role in determining the overall functionality and compatibility of the system. One critical consideration is the form factor, with options such as ATX and ITX catering to very different build sizes and requirements. ATX motherboards offer more expansion slots and connectivity options, making them suitable for high performance systems. Conversely, ITX motherboards are compact and ideal for small form factor builds where space is limited, sacrificing some expansion options for a smaller footprint. Another crucial aspect is the motherboard's CPU socket type, which determines compatibility with specific processor manufacturers and models. Different CPUs require different socket types. It's essential to choose a motherboard with a compatible socket to ensure proper installation and functionality of the CPU. Furthermore, the type of RAM supported by the motherboard must be considered as this will affect system performance and could lead to compatibility issues. When selecting a CPU, several key factors influence performance and compatibility. The socket type determines which CPUs are compatible with the motherboard. For example, Intel typically uses the LGA socket type, while AMD uses the PGA socket type. Therefore, it is necessary to choose a CPU that matches the socket type of the selected motherboard to ensure proper installation and functionality. Additionally, consider the CPU's core count and clock speed. 
For virtualization servers, a high core count is essential to handle multiple virtual machines efficiently. More cores enables more concurrent processes, improving overall server performance. On the other hand, gaming PCs benefit from high clock speeds for faster individual core performance, enhancing gameplay responsiveness and frame rates. Furthermore, pay attention to factors like overclocking capabilities. Overclocking means making parts, like the CPU, run faster than they were originally designed to. For example, if your CPU normally runs at 3.2 GHz, you can push it to go faster, maybe up to 4.5 GHz. This can help your computer handle tasks like gaming or video editing more quickly. This may sound great, but be sure to exercise caution. While you can adjust these settings using your computer's BIOS or UEFI interface, overclocking can be risky. When you increase the speed, it generates more heat which could make your computer unstable or even damage it if it gets too hot. This might present as an operating system that starts up, but within a few minutes, locks up or shuts down entirely as a protection measure against overheating. So always keep an eye on system temperatures when overclocking and lower the CPU clock speed if temperatures get too hot. When considering RAM for different computing needs, three primary characteristics stand out. These characteristics are quantity, type, and speed. The quantity of RAM, or the amount available in the system, plays a significant role in determining overall performance. Higher quantities of RAM, such as 24 gigabytes or more, are essential for virtualization environments supporting multiple virtual machines simultaneously or possibly workstations that deal with extremely large datasets. For multimedia PCs, a moderate quantity of RAM ranging from 8 GB to 16 GB enables smooth multitasking and responsive performance in tasks like video streaming and photo editing. Gaming PCs also benefit from ample RAM quantities, typically 12 GB or more, to support the demanding requirements of modern games ensuring smooth gameplay at high resolutions and frame rates. Please don't take these numbers as concrete quantities for every situation. They are only meant to serve as a reference point. In addition to how much RAM you have, the type matters a lot too. The type refers to the generation and technology of the RAM module. DDR4 RAM is the standard for most modern systems, offering solid performance and reliability for workstations, multimedia PCs, and virtual machine servers. But for gaming PCs, where speed is crucial, the newer DDR5 RAM would give you a noticeable boost. And then there's ECC RAM, which stands for Error Correcting Code RAM. It provides extra data integrity and reliability, making it essential for server environments where accuracy is key. Furthermore, RAM speed, or the clock speed at which data can be transferred to and from RAM is another critical factor influencing performance. Specifically for gaming PCs, higher RAM speeds reduce latency and improve overall gaming performance, providing a competitive edge in fast-paced gaming environments. Following the discussion on RAM, the choice of drives plays a crucial role in a PC's performance and storage capacity. Here, we will discuss two primary types, storage drives and optical drives. Storage drives, such as hard disk drives or HDDs, and solid state drives or SSDs serve as the backbone for storing operating systems, programs, and files. While HDDs are slower than SSDs, HDDs do offer larger storage capacities at a lower cost per gigabyte. They find utility in multimedia PCs and virtual machine servers, prioritizing high storage capacity over speed for bulk storage of files and media libraries. SSDs, on the other hand, offer faster read and write speeds compared to traditional HDDs. They are particularly beneficial for gaming PCs, where speed and responsiveness are favorable traits and excessive amounts of storage are not necessarily required. Then there are optical drives. 
These drives include CD, DVD, and Blu-ray drives, each of which enable reading and writing of optical discs. CD and DVD drives are commonly utilized for software installation, music playback, and movie watching, remaining relevant in multimedia PCs and office workstations. Blu-ray drives offer higher capacity and playback quality, ideal for watching high-definition Blu-ray movies and backing up large files in multimedia setups and home theater configurations. Next, we have the video card. This component handles graphics and visual processing tasks in a PC. Here, we will cover two types of video card solutions. Onboard video, also referred to as integrated graphics processing, and GPUs, which act as a form of discrete graphics processing when added to a system. Onboard video or integrated graphics setups have their functionality built directly into the motherboard. This solution is commonly found in budget-friendly systems. Integrated graphics are suitable for everyday computing tasks like web browsing, email, and office applications. They offer adequate performance for casual use and multimedia playback, but may struggle with more demanding gaming and content creation tasks. In contrast, a discrete GPU refers to a dedicated graphics card installed as a separate component. These cards offer significantly higher performance compared to integrated graphics. Discrete graphics cards are essential for demanding tasks such as gaming, video editing, 3D rendering, and graphic design. They provide smoother gameplay, higher frame rates, and better visual quality, making them indispensable for enthusiasts and professionals seeking top-tier performance. Moving on, we have peripherals, which serve to extend the functionality of a PC. Peripheral slots, such as PCI and PCIe slots, allow for the addition of expansion cards, enriching the system with additional features. Among these are audio cards capable of providing surround sound and high-end audio output that well exceeds on-board or integrated sound options, features that are great for gaming and multimedia setups. Then there are memory card readers that provide seamless data transfer from various memory card form factors, perfect for media share. Or you can utilize an external drive card with the ability to support expanded storage options and data backup capabilities. Beyond expansion cards, there are an array of peripheral devices that can be added to the system in order to augment the user experience and provide enhanced productivity, such as headsets, which combine audio input and output, great for gaming, video conferencing, and multimedia playback. External microphones, which capture audio input, pivotal for video conferencing, podcasting, and content creation endeavors. And webcams, which facilitate video capture for conferencing, streaming, and content production. For our next component, we will step outside the system case and discuss external display options. External displays offer diverse configuration options well beyond the standard single monitor setup. For instance, large TV displays or projectors can create immersive experiences, perfect for presentations and multimedia setups. When it comes to gaming or workstation productivity, Dual or triple monitor setups can provide expansive visual real estate. This grants gamers panoramic views of virtual worlds or workstation users with improved multitasking capabilities. Additionally, in certain virtualization environments, keyboard, video, and mouse switches, also known as KVM switches, can be used to streamline server management tasks. They enable administrators to control multiple computers or virtual machines from a single workstation, optimizing resource allocation and server management workflows. At this point, we have covered quite a few components, but let's not forget about the ever important cooling mechanisms. Adequate cooling is necessary for stable performance and longevity and is facilitated by various solutions like heat sinks, CPU fans, case fans, and liquid cooling systems. Heat sinks, passive devices composed of metal fins, 
efficiently dissipate heat from components like the CPU. They work alongside CPU fans, actively circulating air over the heat sink to enhance cooling. Meanwhile, case fans maintain internal airflow, drawing in cool air and expelling hot air to prevent heat buildup. These fans come in various sizes and configurations, adapting to different case layouts and cooling requirements. As for liquid cooling systems, they represent a more sophisticated cooling solution, circulating coolant to absorb heat from components and dissipate it via a radiator. Liquid cooling offers superior thermal performance, making it ideal for overclock systems and high-performance builds. Lastly, we have the power supply unit. Choosing the right wattage for a power supply unit, or PSU, is of the utmost importance. The wattage rating indicates the maximum amount of power the PSU can deliver to the system's components, including the motherboard, CPU, memory, drives, video card, peripherals, and certain cooling components. Determining the appropriate wattage rating involves considering several factors such as the combined power requirements of each hardware component and efficiency ratings. Assessing the total power consumption of all components and allowing for additional headroom ensures that the PSU can handle peak power demands without issues. Additionally, selecting a PSU with a higher efficiency rating reduces wasted energy and operating costs over time. And with that last bit of knowledge grasped, you should now be ready to handle any PBQs about component selection. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.